After a series of setbacks, the troubled Starliner spacecraft has finally been given a departure date from the International Space Station ISS, scheduled for early September. This comes as a stark contrast to SpaceX's continued success with their Falcon 9 missions, marking new milestones with each launch. Meanwhile, there's a glimmer of hope for NASA's Viper lunar rover, which may be salvaged after its initial cancellation. Starliner's current mission, dubbed CFT-1, has already surpassed initial expectations, remaining docked with the ISS for over 70 days. The question of its return, however, remains a point of contention. Journalist Eric Berger, known for his accurate insights into the space industry, has reported that NASA has tentatively scheduled Starliner's undocking for September 6th. At the latest, a crewed undocking is targeted for September 2nd, while an uncrewed undocking is planned for the 6th. This difference in timing could hint at the spacecraft's current condition and NASA's concerns. While Starliner is expected to remain docked for approximately 90 days, aligning with NASA's previously extended schedule, agency is still evaluating its performance. Focus is on the spacecraft's Reaction Control Propulsion System, RCS, which has been a source of past issues. Final decision on the return of the two astronauts currently aboard Starliner is expected by the end of August. If Starliner returns with its crew on September 2nd, it will be a testament to NASA's commitment to astronaut safety, despite the inherent risks involved with the spacecraft. However, if an uncrewed undocking on September 6th is necessary, NASA has contingency plans in place. Initially, only two astronauts were slated for Crew 9, allowing for the return of the Starliner crew early next year. But if an earlier return is deemed necessary, two astronauts might return on Crew 8, which would then have six members due to the absence of pressure suits. This scenario would help alleviate past issues with ISS congestion. The early undocking of Starliner would allow Crew 9 to launch in late September, followed by Crew 8's return, restoring the ISS to its normal operating capacity. While the uncertainty surrounding Starliner's future persists, one thing remains clear. The smooth and efficient operation of the ISS relies on reliable spacecraft, a fact that has been underscored by Starliner's recent challenge. We invite you to share your predictions in the comments below. Do you think Starliner will return with its crew on September 2nd, or will the spacecraft undock uncrewed on September 6th? To stay informed about SpaceX's latest developments and future updates, don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel. Despite receiving NASA's approval for continued crewed launches, Starliner faces a challenging future. The postponement of the Starliner 1 mission to the latter half of 2025 has created a compressed schedule for future missions, raising concerns about its viability. With a hefty development cost of $4.5 billion, there's speculation that Starliner might only complete a limited number of missions, perhaps as few as six, under the commercial crew program before being phased out or replaced. The space race is becoming increasingly competitive, with SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft dominating the field and the imminent launch of Sierra Nevada's Dream Chaser adding another strong contender. This growing competition could further overshadow Starliner, making it harder to secure future missions. The coming weeks will be crucial for Starliner's fate as it prepares for its return to Earth early next month. Its performance during this period will be a key indicator of its viability and future in the dynamic space exploration landscape. Meanwhile, SpaceX continues to excel with another successful launch of its Falcon 9 rocket. On August 15th at 9 a.m. EDT, a Falcon 9 lifted off from SLC-40, Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Florida, successfully deploying two Worldview Legion satellites, Worldview Legion 3 and 4, for Maxar technology. As with previous Falcon 9 missions, the first stage landed successfully at Landing Zone 1, marking the 16th successful touchdown for the B-1076 booster. This impressive reusability record underscores SpaceX's commitment to advancing rocket recovery technology. The Falcon 9's second stage successfully placed the Worldview Legion satellites into sun-synchronous orbit, SSO, ensuring their optimal position for Earth observation. The first satellite was deployed approximately 46 minutes after launch, with the second following just over an hour later. This successful deployment marks a significant milestone for the Worldview Legion constellation, which aims to enhance Earth observation capabilities with its high-resolution multispectral imagery.
The newly operational satellites are part of a six-satellite constellation, with the remaining two set to be launched by Falcon 9 later this year. These latest additions join the two previously launched Worldview Legion satellites, creating a constellation that covers areas between 45 degrees north and 45 degrees south latitude, encompassing most populated regions. This unique orbit allows for frequent revisits and complements the earlier launches, creating a powerful network for Earth observation. The completed Worldview Legion constellation will significantly boost Earth observation capability. Maxar representatives have stated that when all six satellites are operational, Maxar Intelligence's capacity to collect 30 centimeter, 12 inches resolution, multispectral imagery will triple. This expanded constellation will be able to image the most rapidly changing areas on Earth as frequently as every 20 to 30 minutes. From sunup to sundown, for SpaceX, this mission marks several milestones, including the 364th Falcon 9 launch and the rocket's 10th mission since its resumption on July 27th. This rapid launch cadence, averaging one launch every two days, is a testament to SpaceX's commitment to efficiency and technological advancement. This mission also marks the 79th Falcon 9 mission and the 80th for the Falcon rocket family this year, making significant progress towards the company's goal of 148 launches. With less than four months remaining in the year, SpaceX has its work cut out for it to achieve its ambitious launch goals. But while SpaceX focuses on its busy schedule, a different kind of mission is facing an uncertain future. NASA's Viper lunar rover, originally slated for cancellation, may be given a second chance, thanks to the efforts of Intuitive Machines, the company that partnered with SpaceX to launch a lunar lander earlier this year. Intuitive Machines is assembling a coalition of organizations to take on the Viper mission, proposing to launch the rover on one of their landers. The company is responding to a request for information, RFI, from NASA, outlining their plan to assume responsibility for the mission. Intuitive Machines CEO Steve Altimus emphasizes the importance of the Viper mission, stating, Viper science is crucial to lunar researchers and the future of the Artemis program. It plays a key role in prospecting for volatiles and in trained water ice in the lunar soil. This potential rescue mission highlights the ongoing commitment to lunar exploration and the strategic value of Viper in expanding our understanding of the moon's resources. Intuitive Machines successfully takes over the mission they plan to utilize their Nova-D lander to transport the rover. The rover, which has already completed production and is undergoing environmental testing, would need to undergo final testing and additional work before becoming operational. While Intuitive Machines faces challenges in finding a suitable partner and financial strain due to investments in other missions, supporting their efforts is crucial. Abandoning the Viper rover which was developed at significant taxpayer expense, would be a loss for lunar exploration. A successful takeover could open opportunities for SpaceX, who would likely be the launch provider for intuitive machines. The Falcon Heavy, originally selected for the Griffin mission, could still be used to launch Viper. Regardless of NASA's direct involvement, SpaceX and Intuitive Machines could continue advancing lunar exploration, showcasing the collaborative spirit of the space industry. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for joining us. Keep looking up.